Well, it's time for another ZOA project. Uh, Julie and I decided that for our book signings we wanted to have some special pens. So we got ourselves some red Sharpies, some air drying clay, and some stick on fingernails. And I will show you what we're going to do with that. Okay, step one to this dastardly project is I got an old Sharpie pen that's totally dried out. And I can take the lid off of it. And now I can form with the clay a dismembered finger over top of it, allowing for the. Oh, I'm not good at this stuff. Okay, here. Allowing for <laughs> the fake fingernail to hide the tip of the pen. Um, and of course, red ink will come out and it will look bloody. So I'm going to use this as the model to get just the right size for the. The final shot. Okay, since I don't really know how much this clay is going to harden onto the pen, and I want to be able to slip the pen out of it so that I can be able to insert a <laughs> insert a pen whenever I want to use it, I'm going to use some uh, Pam spray on it. Uh, I guess you could probably use Saran Wrap too. I just don't have to have it. I'm seriously childish. Uh, I got myself a hunk of the clay. <laughs> I'll try not to fondle it too much. Um, so what I'm going to do is I'm going to end up just uh, taking this, it, you know, the right length for the pen, smashing it, and then kind of wrapping it around the pen. Okay, so I wanted to have a bone sticking out of the top of the dismembered finger, so I've sort of formed that out, and I'm starting to wrap the clay around and work on it, and then I'm going to be shaping it to make it look more like a finger with, you know, knuckles and such. Okay, so I've kind of basically formed it. What's going to end up happening here is I'm going to let it dry with the pen inside of it so that it'll keep its shape. I put the nail on it. When it's dry, I'm going to do the skin up to make it look like, uh, you know, a zombie finger, you know, kind of gray and kind of nasty, and then the nail will be kind of bluish looking. And uh, there'll be some blood up, and uh, the bone will be white. So uh, next time I show it to you, it'll be when it's dry and I'm painting it. Okay, so now I'm just starting to paint the finger. It's got the bone sticking out, it's got the bloody stump, it's got the fingernail, it's got mottling on the skin, some knuckles. And the pen will fit into it, and when we write, the tip of the pen will be hidden behind the fingernail and we'll write in uh, red ink.